Italy, Austria, and Slovenia. The peaks vary in height from around 6,500 feet to more than 15,000. The greatest is Mont Blanc. Situated on the border between France and Italy, it's 15,774 feet high. Mont Blanc is one of the most dangerous mountains in the entire Alpine chain. In fact, it's said to account for around 75% of all deaths in the Alps. As recently as August 2008, eight climbers were swept to their deaths from one of Mont Blanc's lesser peaks. This brought the number of people killed in Alpine avalanches in 2008 to 100, the highest death toll in nearly 60 years. The Alps will always attract climbers, but they have to accept that they will constantly be at risk from sudden avalanches. Another extremely dangerous mountain is the Matterhorn, on the border between Switzerland and Italy. Around 12 people a year die on its 14,692 feet high slopes. In July 2003, more than 70 climbers were trapped on the Matterhorn by a series of huge avalanches. They were eventually saved in one of the greatest mass mountain rescues in history. But more than 50 years earlier, around 265 people were not so fortunate. They lost their lives in what was called the Winter of Terror, when, in late 1950 and early 1951, an unprecedented 649 avalanches overwhelmed a number of Austrian and Swiss villages in the Alps. In fact, one of them, Andermatt, was hit by six avalanches in less than 60 minutes. Here, as well as elsewhere in the Alps, more than 40,000 people were trapped, either in the snow or the rubble of their ruined homes. Around 600 houses and other buildings were completely destroyed. Thousands of acres of forest were devastated and hundreds of cattle were killed. 